All right, hello and welcome back to Lands of Lore. We're playing as Kirin, and we're about to finish things off, heading up into Castle Samaria. We're going to unlock things with this key from the Knolls and head inside. There's a couple of things that we want to do here. First, got to make sure our Valiance Cube is available to us. Um, actually, I'm going to go up here first as the first thing I do. We're going to fire off a couple of arrows into these two spots. I like to start by doing that up front. Make sure we have our Valiance Cube available as there are a lot of um, ghost um, versions of these Cabal Warriors that will occasionally drop some items. Eagle Greatsword. Hmm, not even really that familiar with this weapon. Um, apparently it's not that great, but I don't remember if I've ever seen the Eagle Greatsword before. Um, a lot of the switches here don't really do much of anything. Um, so, many of them we won't actually utilize. Luckily, because we have these ghosts and the Valiance Cube that we got from the Knolls after defeating all the Zeobs, we have plenty of magic and therefore healing at our disposal. Wow, another item. Great Axe Death. Oh, not very good at all, really. Um, Alright. However, if we head down this way, the second of these corridors, we have these swords here that if we click in the correct spot, Ouch. we will get the Great Sword Doom, which is pretty decent. Um, I think we will switch it for Widow Halberd, and then we'll put this down right here. And then let's continue on. So we don't want to go any further in this direction at this point. So we're not going to go any further to the west, at least coming from this way. We're going to open this door here, which is the... Oh, I was wrong. This is the uppermost. We want to go to the second uppermost door. There's a second enemy type that's in this area. There's these Cabal Warrior ghosts, and then... Um, we're not going to flip any of these switches for the time being. It didn't do anything. All right. Oops, didn't need to do that. It's fine. Um, so we are going to head in this direction. Close this door behind us. Oh, and there's the second enemy type. Um, these kind of nunchucky floating axes. Um, they can be pretty difficult to hit, but we can always use Mist of Doom on them. Um, that works a lot better. There's a ghost hiding in one of these walls. Which one? I'm not certain, but that's okay. And we're going to come in here and see this crystal, which if we click on it, it's dawn. contains Dawn. We're going to click on this diamond that we got from the chest in the dungeon. And that will shatter, the, shatter this uh, prison, freeing Dawn. Eternal gratitude. And what of Richard? Is he safe? We have not yet freed his highness. I shall gather our forces and return to join you soon. My best wishes go with you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, okay. So, Dawn is freed. She has no real effect on anything from this point forward, but I like her. It's nice to free her. Um, and we will hit this switch, which should allow us to open this door and give us this key, which honestly, I don't even know if it has any real function. Um, come this way, take out uh, these little nunchuck dudes, uh, hopefully get his fighter and his rogue up. Uh, not that it really is gonna affect anything, it just be nice since they're close. Open this, nothing in here, and similarly, nothing special over here. There's a lot of useless pathways here in um, Castle Samaria. Um, it is not exactly a family-friendly location. Certainly not designed um, to help us out at all. Oops, sorry about that. A little bit of allergies cooking up. Nice. 
This switch here, if you press that, all that happens is a couple of those uh, nunchuck axes spawn behind you. There is a door right here that cannot be opened by any means. So we can uh, save a little time, we'll investigate down here. I'll spoil you a little bit by telling you that there is nothing of any value um, in here either. Unless I am very much mistaken. There's this little scary door we can pop through and a keyhole here. That doesn't appear to be howdy. That is not unlocked by any item we have. There is, there is no way to pick this as far as I know, there is no way to open that. There's really no reason to mess around with this switch. You can try to stop this set of doors here. Um, which, actually, I usually don't manage to get lucky enough to stop it when it's open, nor is there any real reason to, because so long as you don't time it very poorly, you'll still get through just fine. Uh, so, that's everything in this area. And now we're going to come through and we can open this door. As usual, nothing special. And we'll come here. We're going to flip this open. Be very careful not to step on that square. Um, it's not that much of a problem. All it does is send you back to the dungeon, um, and you'll have to walk back out again. But it's just an annoyance that you don't want to have to deal with. Uh, let's do this. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's try that. That's a little better. More of the effect we were hoping for. And there's some other... I oh, guess we can kill this guy. While he's here. There must be a ghost in this wall. Paulson's getting that hurt. Uh, Alright, let's move up here. So we can at least see him and know when it is... Time for him to die. All right, so hopefully I do this right, but usually I do it wrong and end up having to go down to the dungeon. But I'm gonna hit this button, grab this. Um, I can put Great Axe Death in there. I don't actually know if I need to put anything in there, um, but we will just in case. Just in case it helps and buys us that extra minute. I'm gonna hit this switch and then hit this button and the pit is gone, good. What I was hoping for. Now we're gonna go down this way and go all the way back around so that we don't get trapped. Oops. Uh, as always, that's not much of a problem. We can just heal up. Okay, and we'll come up here. Deal with this nunchuck guy. And is it this one or the next one? Now it's the next one. Okay. Let's make sure we've covered everything. We took care of Dawn. I uh, guess we can open this door. Why not? Very good. Alright, so everything over here. That switch there just closes this off. It's a meaningless thing, but um, just for completeness sake. And now we'll come through here which will give us a portal. There it is. To a different area of this floor where we will deal with a mildly annoying portion of the game. Sometimes it's just not worth it dealing with the uh, these guys. Um, I'm not going to bother doing this right now, but there's switches here and here, and a pit right here, and if you hit each of these twice, you'll open this pit, and then there's a second pit that, I actually forget how we get past it, um, I think maybe you have to put an item in it, and then you can go past it, but either way, on the other side of it is just um, a niche that's similar to the thing in the swamp where 
Um, if you put things inside of it, you get money, so it really doesn't have much value to us at this point. Um, so I generally don't bother. Um, it is something I would only do for completeness sake, and if you want to see it, 99% um, certain I did it in the playthrough with Conrad. And I think I might have done it with um, Oxshell as well, so you have some opportunities to see it if you like, if you care enough. Oh, a heavy blow from Nunchuck Man. I could easily just run away from this thing and not bother, but that just annoys me, so I won't. All right. We'll step through here, and I suppose we might as well sleep. That door closes behind us. There's four switches on either, uh, two on either side of the wall here that either do nothing or just change the layout of the floor in here. Either way, we don't want to hit the switches um, because that is annoying and we don't want to deal with it. So let's move forward here. We're going to get teleported to the middle of this room after having lost our atlas, so we can't tell where we are really or what the layout is. And basically what we're looking to do is slowly search around to try and get access to these four depressible plates. And if we can do that, we will have a way out. Um, it's very difficult to keep track of where you've been um, and where you want to go. The compass also is broken. Every time you manage to depress one of these plates, the layout of the pits changes slightly. This is going to bring back right where I was. Isn't it? Um, okay. And allows you to kind of traverse just a little bit further. If that was smart. I would at some point memorize where you're supposed to go. But I have not ever been able to do that. So it's mostly a trial and error sort of situation. And eventually you get to where you're trying to go. Probably spend a lot of time um, backtracking and going over the same areas because you completely lose yourself as you spin. Uh, I think I should be able to get to this one here. Good. All right. So we'll just leave some useless item on there and then try and see which of the plates we can get to next. Things do get a little bit easier as you put things down because you can see the item on the ground and use that as a bit of a guide to say where you have and have not been. Um, so let's try here. And then here. It's probably gonna, yeah. So I'd like to get to that plate, but I don't think I can just yet, so maybe that one. Um, all right, so I can see one there. Let's see if this works. Very good. Um, I'm gonna put the hand down for now. And a dark gauntlet, I should be more accurate to say. Oh, um, so I don't think that's the one we can actually get to yet. Let's go this way. Um, Alright, there's the key. But there's another one right there. Good. Um, and let's put our eagle sword here. Um, and... Alright, so we know the last plate must be somewhere in this direction. Um, so there's that one, so probably, yeah, right there is where we want to get to. And we'll just walk slowly to, ma oh, to make sure that we don't lose ourselves and actually walk off a cliff or something. Now we can use the other key. And now we're going to do a couple of things. So first we're going to step forward here. Take out this guy. All right, we're gonna hit this button, hit this button, take out this dra uh, dragon figurine. Actually, I forgot to mention, I didn't really talk about the uh, cobra figurine before, but uh, that is an item that we need. We gotta put something back in here and close that off in order to open this back up, um, which we're gonna come to later, but we need it to free up King Richard. Um, and then a very rude and difficult um, exit is located right there behind a secret wall that um, you have no real reason to suspect is there, but yes, there's a, a secret wall right here that we can step through, and after finishing that area, we get our map back, 
there is a way to fill that in and um, I hopefully will not be doing it because that would mean that I stepped somewhere I didn't want to. We are now going to move to the portion of the game where I just start using all of our um, fireball wands. I'm going to use Bacata primarily just in case he gets enough to actually level up. Which I don't see any reason why he would probably, but maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alright, we can close that behind us, but we don't really want to, just in case we have to go that way again. And as soon as we step on this, it'll open. Once we go past it, the post is behind us. So we're up on the second level of the castle now. This is actually the level that King Richard is on, although there's still a little bit of work we have to do in order to find him. I believe this is always closed. If I put something in it, it might close permanently and not reopen. Um, but generally I don't even try things in Samaria because very little of the castle is designed to help you and most of it is designed just to hurt you. Those spinning wheel guys um, do have the ability to burn your armor with acid. They don't do it an exceptionally high percentage of the time, um, but they do it reasonably often. Wow. Let's give you... Master and see if that helps. Bring your rogue up a little bit. There we go. Staff Gustavus. Dagger Repost. Hmm. Empty. Yeah, not surprisingly very unhelpful. There is a button here. Doesn't really do much of anything too fun. Um, opens up some small pathway. This is the other kind of big enemy type here. Um, which um, they're not exceptionally dangerous but they do have the ability to um, hit very hard kind of similar to those um, um, yeah the cavemen type this is trident plague it's a fairly strong weapon but it lowers your attack level by one um, so I certainly never really use it um, yeah, the spiders um, are similar to kind of those cavemen where they are sort of like uh, glass cannons, if you would. They hit very hard, um, but they don't have a huge amount of defense, so you can take them out with relative ease. I'm going to just move this down so it's more accessible. So it's something we're going to use um, a bunch whenever we're picking locks, particularly on another lock in just a moment. Uh, the Bracers of Defense boost us up. We'll give this to Bacada. And we're already full again. Ace of Infinity. Let's put that down for a sec. Ace of Oblivion. Um, Alright, let's... Oh, we have one more space. Some coins, which are useless. Check up this Fireball Wand. Make use of this. Alright. Okay, and that should be everything down here. Very good. Let's head further up. And this is not, I don't think, the difficult lock. This no. is already unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. Um, so again, I don't remember if that niche just takes your stuff or does nothing, but I would just leave it alone. I don't believe there was a button anywhere in there, no. This is something I'm going to wait a minute to unlock. We're going to come back to it. Should be able to with our Rogue 6 when we put the uh, Axe Master on, but just in case. We're going to open these up. They don't go anywhere just yet, but they will later. Similarly, this door we'll have to open from the other side, but when we go up this way, I'll come back when I go down there. Um, there's actually a door here that does open, and we end up, yeah, we can pop that open. Um, we end up having ourselves a reasonably large supply of enemies up here. Let me just waste a whole bunch of time, apparently. 
That was not what I meant to do. I meant to use one of the ones, but that's fine. Alright. Stop messing around. Um, Alright, can open this up. That opens that pathway. And then this one we need to find a key for. Hopefully it wasn't one of those ones we left behind, huh? This door also, I believe, needs a key. Give them, okay, good. Um, Alright, so we're going to leave some items on these. as That will stop them from firing additional blasts at us, because we don't want to deal with that. Okay. And then we will do the same thing here. Alright. Something must be back there, because I heard it squeal. Alright, let's flip this switch. Should open up that wall next to us. It did. And we're going to press this button to open this door. And then this opens that up. And we will take this staff, throw that on there, which should stop things from firing, and give us this button here, which then opens this up and gets us the adder key. I honestly forget which of all those doors it opens. Um, but that's okay, because we're still going to have to collect a few more. We'll just get all or most of them and proceed from there. Yeah. There's an invisible pressure plate there that causes something to fire as you step on that square. Um, so luckily that spider guy was there to uh, eat the brunt of the assault for us. Uh, if you ever feel the need... Uh, these rooms make a great hiding spot where you can go in and rest up. Okay, and... You can also get knocked unconscious, even if you don't technically get uh, killed by one of their shots. So another thing to watch for. Up here, um, in this direction, there's a couple of pathways. Nothing exceptionally special up here. I feel like in the other room there might be a single item that you can grab, uh, but I don't remember it being particularly useful. No. So, not even... wasn't even correct. Alright. And then this direction... Um, I forget exactly what happens. Um, hang on one second, I'm gonna pause. Alright, just because uh, I don't feel like getting trapped back here, just in case. Um, Okay, so nothing here. Maybe if we, I think if we flip this switch, then a pit forms right here. Um, which is just a, a meaningless little trap to make you waste time and have to go through again. This should, yeah, fire something off at us. Let's go down here. There's going to be a number of spiders waiting for us. Apparently just hanging out. Alright. And in here is a noir key. Another item that we're going to need to make use of. Ooh, where the hell are you? Oh, that's weird. It sounded like a spider attacking us, but there's nothing there. Might just mean that there's one in the general area. Alright, let's continue on again. Oops, that's what I meant to do. Hey, buddy. Okay. And now up here. Another fireball gets shot. Ooh, that was foolish. Alright, so let's see if I can actually do this directly. I believe if you hit this button, a pit forms and you fall. I think this one is safe and should open the wall behind us. And now, I don't think we have the correct key. This should be the red key opens this one. It does one. not fit. It does not fit. No, okay. Um, and again, let's see if I do this right. All right, that didn't do anything. How about you? Okay, that opened that up. And then this door here. Can get caught a little bit. 
Um, all right, so let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to throw this across there, hit that switch, and I think that makes this false pit. Yes, all right, we're going to step on this portal and collect the carrion key. We can pick up our dagger. And that, let's see if I can remember correctly how to do this. Hit that switch, what does that do to this pit? Um, I have a huge number more of these. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. I think I leave this on here and then I should be able to walk across this. Oh, I guess not. All right, so. This is how we're able to fill in the map down here, um, which I don't feel like doing. So we're going to get teleported to the middle of the screen, and we're just going to work our way around. It's going to be a little bit easier now that we have our map. So we want to go down this way, and we'll go this way, walk onto the plate. There's also another secret door here. Um, there's nothing there, but just fun to know I guess all right um, so if you want to fill in that map that's how you would do it um, okay so again you can see just how uh, strong their attack can be and how much damage they can do remarkably quickly if you're not really paying attention. Especially when there's just three or four of them hanging out. Oop, let's not play this game. There you go, you can have one too. Alright. I got the last one. Connor's really getting his butt kicked by these guys, man. But, he can also dish it out, I guess. Alright. So let's go quickly here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, you got it. You're being ridiculous. I guess we'll make use of some of these items that we have here. need to deal with that. Well, you don't get any more. What's your limit? me good all right um, let's continue on up here and now we can deal with this so let's find our axe put that on bring our rogue level up that final level unpick that uh, you generally need a rogue level of about five to open it um, so with the jade necklace and great axe master you should be just fine it's the last time we'll truly need Master, but still always nice to have it around. And then there was also this path here that we wanted to look at. Um, all right, so, is that it? There we go. There might actually be a chest in here. Nope, nothing. 
I don't know what could have possessed me to think that there was actually something useful up here, but it's almost never the case. Might as well rest up, get our magic back before we proceed any further. Oh, hello, sir. And I suppose I can give you another piece. All right. Let's wake him up. And that's enough. We can proceed on. So, where did I just go? The wrong direction. Not helpful. This is better. All right, we're going to go up here, and one of these two keys, I believe, should open this door. Noir. And flip that. That'll open that. But while we're here, I believe this should open this. Good. That's just for the first time. Alright, gotta, honestly. Nope, I guess I can't blame Kata anymore. Seems like it's happening to everyone. Suppose I can deal with this. it. Okay, well, let's get this out as well. A little assistance. It should not be this difficult. Hmm, still got a ways to go to level up, so I don't think we're going to before the end. Can I smash it open. Oh, I don't know if I care enough. Well, there actually are a couple items in here that I do want. Um, which makes this that much more annoying. Let's use this, just for fun. Heavy Hand of Fate spell. Strong enough to actually do damage and kill our enemy. Oh well. Um, alright. Just use that on you. And maybe we'll do this now. We can come back to that later. And we'll just rest in here. Some enemies to fight on the other side. Open this up and come through and take care of these guys. All right, very good. Oh. Where'd you come from, friend? Did you open this up? No. Just sort of apparated in behind us. Fair enough. down there. There's nothing in here. Just want to make sure that guy's dead. Um, Alright, now we can... Actually, we can just rest again. And then we will head up to the third and final level. Where our primary goal is going to be get to get to the final item we need to free Richard. You will not cheat me again. <laughs> notice there's no staircase back down. So we're a little bit trapped up here. This is actually the way into Scotia. We just need those two keys, then we can put open that door. I think there's a, yeah. A little secret wall here um, that brings us to this chest. Arbalist Bastion. Hmm. Empty. Hmm. Alright. So, 
A um, couple of interesting things on this floor. Some pits that we'll have to make use of later. A lot of uh, bolts flying across the screen that I am going to put minimal effort into dodging, if I'm being perfectly honest. You can hit this button here, which opens up, uh, oops, um, opens up a niche right there. I don't think there's any way to access it, nothing that I know of at least. Um, I've been wrong before though, but nothing I have ever found. So we can head down here first, and in this room, leave armor here. to leave a piece of armor, leave weapons here. Leave a weapon. Leave medicines here. Some kind of medicine. And leave jewelry here. Piece of jewelry. And that should be enough to open this niche and get us the dull key. Now we can just take our items back. And you, very good. Now we're gonna take this and head upwards. Again, we're gonna keep having stuff fired at us, which I just accept. You can open this, um, but don't, um, because all that happens is you end up having to kill a certain enemy type that we will see in a moment um, that I don't like to deal with because they're very annoying. Um, and you will see what I mean very shortly. Oh, I missed one. I guess we will go up there as well first. Nothing. Alright. Just yet another trap. Alright, so this is the enemy type I was referring to. They do that rumbling thing that the Larkon and the Knolls do. Oops, I didn't mean to use level 2. Um which takes away your weapon. And they're also pretty resistant to physical attacks. Um, in fact, they're pretty resistant to just about everything other than Mist of Doom. Um, so that is pretty much what I use to kill them. Have these Bannon's Reserves available in case we need them. But it is just an annoyance having to constantly rest up and refill your mana, have to pick up all of your stuff over and over again. Um, uh, there's only like three or four of them floating around. More if you release them from some hidden little spots on the wall. You're going to collect a bunch of keys, the majority of which have no actual function, but some of them open chests and doors, so you do want to at least grab them for the time being. Should be another one fairly soon. Yeah, there's acid dripping from the ceiling that I usually try and avoid, but I don't put a lot of effort into it. All right. Um, so let's try to hopefully kill him before he makes us drop our stuff again. Nice. Good shot, Makata. Alright. I always rest up as soon as I kill one of those, because there's always going to be another one just a few steps down the hall. And um, as long as you just have the one at a time, they don't really present a problem. But it can get annoying when a second one is also there. Um, so I just avoid it. Alright. This might be where we need the dull key. Yeah. So the dull key is the one that we got in this room down here. Silver key should be the door that op or the key that opens the door to Scotia. Hmm. Empty. Salve which has minimal real function at this point. Um, should be yeah, if we step here, this all closes behind us for no real reason, because you just press this button and either that opens or you press this button and that opens. Um, very meaningless little trap, but sure. Um, it fits the vibe of uh, Samaria. There is a death key, which opens, I believe, a treasure chest just down here. Okay, and let's grab this. And 
troops. Hey, nice job, Kieran. Gotta love Valkyrie. All right, uh, let's go around this way and up here. Again, rest. Actually, are very, very close to being done here. Um, all right, so coming around here should have connected what we did before. Good. All right. Look who it is. Hi. Oh, you jerk. Ha. What? Why are you up there? Weird. Creepy face. Here, you can have Great Maul. Mix things up a little bit. Nice. Alright. Alright, so we'll have to go over there after. For the time being, though, we will stay here, open that up, and up there, there will be another green frog guy. So we'll rest up before we go up. Okay. They're always going to open with that rumble. Is that enough to finish this one off? Yeah, we got some higher damage rolls that time. Alright, and we should be safe down here. Just a chest in this room. Okay. Some ginseng. Oh, good. I don't believe this is of any use. It is not. Money, which of course has no use to us at this point, unless we want to go back to the swamp to buy some uh, fireball wands, which we really can do. Uh, it's not that long to get back, really, but not a huge amount of utility. That closes that wall off. But we can just go back up and around. Here, the sum, must... the sum must be correct, which we'll understand in just a moment. Maybe even now, let's see, where are we at? Uh, no, we still need just a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to come up here, unlock this, okay. And then we still need the other key. Let's get the second key. So, here, there's a switch on the wall here, and this key. Unlock that, and then we could go in and try to fight Scotia right now, which will result in our deaths, um, because we do not have a way to combat the Nether Mask, so we first need to rescue King Richard. So let's go down here, up here, why did I bother doing that? Um, you will see in just a couple of seconds. Alright, so uh, that sign there that said the sum must be correct, we see 1 plus 1 equals, and as I take a couple steps over, We'll see that this says 1 plus 1 equals 3, which is, of course, not quite accurate, depending on who you ask. So we have to alter the equation, and we're going to do so by hitting this button. And then that slightly changes, not quite a 3 anymore, and this one. And now it is 1 plus 1 equals 2, and this pathway is open. So we're going to head this way. I don't know why I stood under that and waited to get hit, but I did. And when we hit this switch, 
And then this one. And we get the humanoid figurine. Hmm, which figurine did I not get yet? I've done this before, too, so I don't have the unicorn figurine. Uh, we got one. Wait a minute. There it is. I was going to say, I thought I got all four. All right. Um, and we do have to leave something in here, so let's put uh, this piece of ginseng. And we'll close those off, open this back up. Let's do a quick heal. And as I said, there's no um, the compass appears to be broken. There's no stairs here, so we're gonna have to drop down a pit in order to get out, which is fine. That just closes that door that uh, we already closed, so I don't have to worry about reclosing it. Oops. Let's head up this way. Um, not going to flip that switch that was right there. All right, good. Um, that doesn't really do anything that we want to deal with. I think it uh, closes the wall off behind us and forces us to walk through the little acid drop, but that's all. And we can just quickly finish the map by coming down here and getting to this chest, which the death key opens. Albert Death's Hand. Nice. All right, so that's equal, and that's less. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep them all, and there we go. Aegis plate mail, we can give that to Bacata. Hmm, Even though he's probably gonna let it get destroyed again in just a minute, but that's fine, we'll forgive him. And, all right, we can do that while we're heading down to fall down a pit, that's not gonna help us. I do that twice. Opening that will just cause one of the green monsters to spawn, so we're not gonna do that. Nothing there. Oops. And that was a spinning tile for fun, I guess? Didn't really cause any problems. All right, so that should be everything. Now, we're gonna drop down one of these pits. Doesn't really matter too much which one, but this is probably the easiest, so let's head down there. I'm uh, too far. Oh, never mind. Whee! All right, that brings us down to this floor, and we're gonna head over to where Richard is. Do, 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 do. Off to save good King Richard. Let's. Oops. Okay. We will give this chest one final attempt after we kill these guys. Let's get uh, Master on board. It doesn't fit. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Um, I like to get that because um, there's an item inside called the Westwood Stick. It's not really good by any means, but. Um, just named after Westwood Studios, uh, the creators of the game, and I always like to have that be an item that I give to King Richard, which you'll see is coming up in a moment, but it's not really a problem if we don't. There are plenty of other things that we can give him, probably better items um, within the actual real world of the game, um, but I just think it's fun sometimes to have that be the item I give. Let's get to the carrion key. Very good. 
and let's head inside. So there are three sets of items we need. Relax, Paulson. He appears unharmed, but our shroud has been tainted. What can we do? We must dispel the dark shroud, and then we can heal Richard. All right. So the first thing we have to do is dispel the dark so shroud, which we do with these figurines. I believe the cobra is first. Hmm. A breakthrough, perhaps. And I think humanoid is second. The light follows its path. Ah, a pattern is developing. I think trial and error is the only real way to figure this out. The day. Which order you're supposed to do it in. Outstanding. I think I've got it. I've got it, Kieran. You arrogant Darkness little... cannot stand the light. Paulson, you're such a badass. I knew we could do it. Shroud is restored. Quickly, we must heal Richard. All right, so we need to place the keys in the order that the people were standing in. Hopefully, I can actually remember. Um, I think Daniel is down here. It fits. And then Olsen or Jaren was next. I think Don was up here. And Jaren was Each key must be up here. here. And then Olsen. That's where they were standing at the time that the shroud was placed back, uh, that was the second video after the Southlands. I've never done this without having the elixir in hand. I don't know if, like, you had left it at home or, you know, somewhere else and were too slow if he dies. I don't think so, but never actually tried it. Sir Patrick Stewart. I can tell by the foul stench that I must be in Sibiria. Yes, my liege. It appears that I owe you all a debt of gratitude, but it must wait. What of Scotia? Has she been vanquished? Scotia is said to be in the castle, but how shall we defeat her? She has changed form and brought us on many occasions. Take this ring, the shard of truth. Legend says that only truth can reveal the nether mask and foil the hand. I am too weak to join your group. I would merely slow you down. Your Highness, how shall you defend yourself? If you could spare a weapon, I would be grateful. He's too weak to join a group, but it's okay for him to be in the stronghold of our enemy's army alone. Um, yeah, I guess Doom is better. We'll give him the great sword, Doom. Thank you, Kira. You are a noble son. That is the only appropriate way to pronounce Kieran from now on. Whatever Sir Patrick Stewart says is law. Bring this. Uh, I don't care about these things. What are you. Okay. Alright, so we need to take off the Ruby of Truth and combine it with the Shard of Truth, this ring from Richard. Form the whole truth. And the whole truth we will use um, when Scotia tries to use her nether mask. And that should destroy the mask and allow us to actually fight her in her normal form without her changing back and forth. Alright, so let's go up to the stairs and use all of our fun items on our way there. We don't need them anymore. Why won't you die? All right. Very good. Oops. And through here, there shouldn't be any enemies over here, but occasionally they uh, respawned. All right, up to the third floor, over here to Scotia. Let's rest up before we go in.
I would say there is a roughly 1% chance that we need any more than these four items, well, other than another mask, in order to defeat her. Um, so Scotia is behind this door. If you don't kill her in time and she transforms too many times, she'll transform to an essentially unkillable executioner. So Come to Which we're gonna try to avoid. It is you who will breathe your last, Scotia. Ha! You brought my ruby and it charred to me. That fool Richard actually believes the old tale that they may defeat my nether mask. It is folly. It shall give me even more power. Challenge accepted. So we gotta use the mask while she's transforming. And then we just kill her. with all these items shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, I forgot we had used some of the uh, Mr. Doom Wand Wand of Death. Maybe we will have to actually try a little bit. By try, I mean use our actual own internal power. Way to get to the Bannon's reserves, but it's fine. Probably shouldn't bother using them on Pakata since he has such little magic anyway, but that's alright. Ah, that's right, she can also do the rumble. That looks like a mortal blow. Paulson ultimately gets the kill. My death will not save you from our wrath! Or will it? Our Wrath is a reference to, I believe, um, Lands of Lord Two. Kira. You have served me well. We will remember you as our greatest champion. A luckier adventurer Gladstone never saw. It has been a Good pleasure day. serving with you. Not as much of a pleasure as it's going to be for her serving with Luther. Scotia's son and the protagonist of Lands of Lore 2. Although I suppose that depends on the pathway you ultimately follow. Alright, so we have our credits here. We're going to have a little run through of all of the different enemy types and their attack animations as a kind of. I don't know how you want to describe it. Um, visual. Something interesting to play with the credits. I don't know. <laughs> Call it whatever you like. we see one enemy type, um, kind of a large snake creature, which um, is one of the forms that Scotia would have taken if we did not use the nether mask on her up front. Um, she transforms into a serpent. I think one of those frog creatures, and then into the executioner, if I remember correctly, the order. Though I may be wrong. Rock monsters.
There we go. There's that snake creature that she'll turn into. It doesn't appear elsewhere in the game, at least not to my knowledge. Zeobs. Acid throwing jerks. Richard, ruler of Gladstone, Sir Patrick Stewart. I wonder if he was knighted before or after becoming king. I believe it was actually after. This was relatively early in his career. Although I have no idea when his knighting occurred. Timothy, companion to the king. Apparently his official title. Dominic, the boat rower. I don't remember if they say his name at any other point in time, or if it's just here. Although I remember it being Dominic, so I think they say it at some point. I don't remember the chieftain ever being named Math Pasha anywhere other than here in the uh, credits. Door and my luck. Alright, so this should just about be the end. Just one final little screen showing off our championship reign. And there we go. Alright, this has been Lands of Lore. Hope you enjoyed, and till next time, see you.